All right, welcome. Today I've got a different kind of video for you guys. Here we have the Logitech G920 racing wheel, which was uh, provided to me by Logitech. I reached out to them and said, hey, uh, I'd like to uh, have a look at your racing wheel. And they were nice enough to send me one. In this video, we're going to, going to be playing the newly released Mac OS game Dirt 4, which is connected to my 15 inch MacBook Pro and a Blackmagic eGPU. So let's uh, just get into the match and then I'll talk you through some more stuff. Okay, so here we are in the Fitzroy Australia map, which is very fitting because I'm from Australia, so this place is really nice. But anyways, this is a good map to choose because it's pretty simple. You know, it doesn't require as much skill as the harder levels and I'm still pretty bad though. I'm still really bad. So setting up the racing wheels are very simple. You simply plug in the USB and then you're pretty much good to go. Some racing wheels do require you to install drivers, such as this one, which requires you to install the Logitech uh, G920 drivers, and then it configures the wheel to, to your operating system or to your hardware. And then basically the whole steering wheel just goes and does 360s to configure itself. It's kind of cool. Feral Interactive, the people who ported Dirt 4 to our platform, have actually brought a lot of wheel support to their games, such as F1 2017, Dirt Rally, Dirt 4, Grid Autosport, to name a few. What's also good about this reel and many others is that they offer forced feedback, or vibrations. I don't know the correct pronunciation, but what that means is when you're driving, the racing wheel um, basically vibrates to what is going on in the track. And at the same time, the racing wheel is kind of fighting against you when you're going around corners. And if you add in this, which is the Logitech Driving Force Shifter, that allows you to drive a, a manual transmission car, which is very challenging because at the same time, you kind of need to know how to drive a manual car, which I, I do, but I'm still, struggling at times. I mean, I'm okay, but uh, I still have a lot of learning to do. We also have the pedals down below, which comes with this G920, which offers you the clutch and obviously the acceler accelerator, oh my God, accelerator and the brake. And in this instance, I'm able to use the clutch with this driving force shifter. And it really does make you feel like you're there. Now, compared to Dirt Rally, this game has more of an arcade tone, but it's pretty good for, you know, just a more casual experience, even though I'm still really bad. So that really does show how bad I was at Dirt Rally, but you know, uh, I still am having a good time, boys. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was using the Logitech G920 on Mac, and it's a really fantastic experience. It really pushes you in, makes you feel like you're there, Adding in the manual gearbox as well. It's hard to get your head around at first, but if you know how to drive a manual car, it's really fun. Holy moly. And also the, um, the pedal stand here as well. It's really cool. And being able to use the, the clutch as well. Holy moly. If you want to get this racing wheel, the names and links are in the description for your convenience. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of this racing wheel. Do you have your own racing wheel that you use? Let me know which one it is. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Um, leave a like and subscribe for more videos about Mac gaming. Bye-bye.